believe you are lifted, lift up your hands and begin to talk to your God that lifted you. For the higher lifting, to operate in a higher level. Talk to him, appreciate him. He is a faithful God. He is a dependable God. He is a reliable God. He is a powerful God. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Bless his holy name. None can be compared unto him. None can be compared unto him. We give you worship, we give you praise. Sweet Jesus, powerful Jesus, glorious Jesus, what a lovely God. What a lovely God. What a lovely God. What a lovely God. What a precious God. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. He is the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forever. He is the one that was in charge the whole of yesterday. As we talk right now, as we speak right now, he is still in charge. And because his sovereignty rules sovereign over all beings, even tomorrow, he will remain the same. Yesterday, na you. We did na you.
our lovely Father, our sweet God, our dependable Redeemer. Bless be your holy name. You have done it again. And you do it again. Again and again. Again and again. All to the glory of your wonderful name. Today we are gathered here again. Take over. Take over. As we give you your due praises. Your due honor. And your due adoration. Holy Spirit of the living God. Take your rightful place in our midst. This gathering is unto you and for you. Let your perfect will be done in our lives. Teach us tonight. How to rely on you wholly and solely. Teach us tonight how to trust and believe you. Take over Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. I said in Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen. Amen. I said amen. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Hello? I'm so glad to see wonderful smiles, continuous smiles like this on your face. It's a, confirm, it's a confirmation that God is still doing something in your life. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord replenish you. And open new doors of favor and blessing. In Jesus' precious and mighty name. You may be seated. You may be seated. I thank God for your life. I thank God for how far He has brought you. And how far He's going to take you. I'm glad to announce to you that tonight is your night. Oh, I said tonight is your night. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the realms of the Spirit, I hear the Lord say, the book of remembrance shall be opened today. And I decree and I declare that it is your name that is going to be opened. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you worship. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. There is someone here. There used to be a crying of a cat. Cat. They cried like this. Top of your roof. If you are here, let me see. What you are you just celebrating Jesus? We speak into the life of this one. We speak into the life of this one. Every witch, every wizard, every demon that changes to become a cat, that changes into a cat, haunting their lives in the name that is above every name. We put a stop to it now. We put a stop to it now. We put a stop to it now. We cover them with the precious blood of Jesus. We cover them with the precious blood of Jesus. Their house, their room, their rooftop, everywhere with the precious blood of Jesus. From today you are believers. And you are covered. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Who amongst you is a student? Because I saw something at the school. You are the student. Which school do you attend? Bang. Ah? Was. 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 
As we were praying, the Holy Spirit told me, He showed me the school, a very nice and decent school, very nice and decent school. He said, there is someone, there's, the enemy wants to interfere with uh, learning, the person's learning. Yes. Straightforward, you have to watch them. Father, Bye. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for divine help. Divine help. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Which one of you attend Roman Catholic Catholic Church? Catholic Church. Catholic Church. Until you attend Catholic Church. Oh. Oh no, I mean those that are standing here. Only if you attend Catholic Church. Straight forward your hand. Straight forward your hand. We're going to pray for fresh baptism. You know, I've discovered something. If God wants to you or God wants to use you. Even if you enter inside the bottle, he will look at you inside the bottle. He will bring you out and he will still use you. And just in case you refuse to come out, inside the bottle there where you are, he will use you there. Amen. Oh. Amen. Amen. Oh. Amen. Am I prophesying or I'm just praying? I'm prophesying. Both. Both. Oh. Are you, are you here? Yes, sir. Should I prophesy or should you close? No. The way you are quiet, you know the prophecy, the prophecy goes with you. Oh. Or you want us to enter your house before you know that you are the one who has Thank you, Jesus. Okay, you say I should prophesy. Right? You say I should prophesy. Yes, are you sure? Yes, sir. Sometimes prophecy is good news. Sometimes 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 good news. You know, when I stood here, I saw your heart beating faster. And the Holy Spirit is telling me, you are still worried about some issues. You are still worried about some issues. How is God going to do this? When is God going to do this? Will God do this? The Lord said, I should tell you, whatever he wants to do, man cannot stop him. Say the Spirit of the Lord. Lift up your hands. You, lift up your hands. Or you have only one hand. Father, I pray for favor. 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 In Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen. Amen. Is there any book that they gave you? A book that they gave you? A book about powers, about concentration, about meditation, about spiritual power, anything? Because the reason why I'm asking you, I saw something like a Baha'i book. Something like that. You know, a concentration book. Something like that. You know the person who gave me? You know the person. Why did he give it to you? You told him you need a new testament. Okay, so he gave you. What about your own Bible? You have a Bible? Your own Bible is a Bible. Oh, oh, they are talking about you. This one, phone. You keep your girlfriend's uh, picture there. You keep your, you know, so that one. God and your girlfriend inside one phone. Yalla, asijanga. Amen. Telephone. 
No, no, I'm just saying, I'm not saying you. I said people that use. Father, I pray for your son. Adam? Uncle, can I talk to you? Uh, put everything aside. Look unto God. Whatever God cannot do for you, let it remain on Whatever God cannot do for you, let it remain on Whatever God cannot give you, if a human being gives you, don't take it. This is not your level. Greater things are coming. Bigger things are coming. Better things are coming. Look unto God. Between the hours of 12 a.m. until 3 a.m. Any time from that, any time within that time. 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. It will help you a lot. Oh no. The best time. The what to begin? The peak time. You know, even in hotels they have it. They have what they call happy hour. The happy hour that is what to make the price of everything is done. In the hotel also they have high season or peak season and they have low season. Spiritually the peak season is between 12 to 3. That is when the spiritual discipline. At 3, 4, 5, that one they are just rounding up to. Those that are coming from UK, they are putting themselves together to go back. Those that are coming from US, putting themselves together to go back. Those that came from Ukraine, those that came from Togo, Benin, finish their meeting. They are doing what they are doing. Amen. Amen. Father. I pray for spiritual encounter and contact in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Did you ever impregnate a girl? When I was at university. Oh, no, me, I'm just asking. Yes. The reason, you know. We don't want the prophet, uh, the prophetic to look scary. That is why when we approach you, we smile and we do it like you. I pray for the grace of God to empower and strengthen you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, let him go, disgrace, poverty. Who's your mother? Come. Where's your mother? Anasayai, Kai. Now you need to go to the house. No one. What is your name? What is your name? Aisha. How many of you school? I'm going to school. I'm going to school. I'm going to school. I'm going to school. Aisha. 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 Wow. Aisha. 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 Aisha.
The Lord said we should pray for you. Against every traditional power that is working from your mother's side. That is meant to disgrace you. As you feel very slow in life. The Lord said I should pray for you. And from today, divine spirit. Divine acceleration shall locate you in the name of Jesus. God is able to do it. God is able to do it. There was a scientist called Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. During his preliminary. Can you remember your dream? What was the last time you dream about? She can't yeah. remember. The same school, all of them, they lack all English. Ah, English, then. Because I'm not like English, then go to you. I'm English, that's what I get. Somebody's talking about that. Oh, I have to wait. Like, the baby is like upside down, like, the. This is fast or something, yeah, right? Like this. That's the only delay. The body was gone, the head was gone. That's right. And the Lord is telling that this is a portion. This is a portion. Have you ever impregnated any woman? Okay. Okay. Would you give him mine? Would you give him mine? Beloved, can I tell you something? Okay, the Lord locates you. I am not the one because me, I don't live with you in the same house. I don't know you. It is God that is speaking to you. Anytime God locates you, be frank to Him, open up to Him. Because you want to find that situation. There is somebody here. Yes. Yes, when yes. I was at university. When you were at the university. Yes. What happened when you were at the university? Oh, oh, you, with a girl. you were dating with a girl. So the girl she didn't tell me that she's pregnant. Well, she she got pregnant. Yes. And she did not tell you. But me I understood that she was pregnant. But you knew. You, know, because you, you did the job, so you knew the job. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Okay. So the girl, uh, when he says that she's going to the hospital, so the girl okay. says she's going to the hospital, okay. and she went to the hospital. She went. So at the hospital, what happened? According to what she said, when she returned back, I, I don't see nothing like uh, the way the way she used to get tired, the way because I, I know that she was pregnant. Then. And okay. Now after a few days, and she left the place. Because she was, uh, I was uh, in like a Serikunda, she she left from to come and oh, so you were in different places, yes. Yeah. So 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 and then come so and say that you service her, then she will go. Uh, uh, yes. well, so what she did, eh? <laughs> it, oh, what she did now, okay. After the way she was feeding, everybody surrounding my friend, and hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whole thing yeah. changed. And and the way she was acting like a pregnant woman, she, she become gentle more again. More yeah. Yeah. So that's why, after I told her that you did something, because me I feel it. I told, I told her that you did something. Because me I was I say, why did you do that? Because if you did it, I can support it. But I told him, I told her that what he did, even the Lord asked me tomorrow. That's why I say even between me and her. As even the Lord asked me tomorrow. I'm not in the, uh, my heart is not in the blood of the boy. Today, even tomorrow. Uh, so they even they tell me that it's a boy. Hmm? No, I just say I, yeah, I just say that. Uncle, you feel like you lose something from this thing. Amen. Are you celebrating Jesus? 
Are you sorry, please? Now get mad at me too. You better start praying before I get around you. Ah, you are not going row by row. So start praying. So that we will just see just the top. <laughs> and we will not get to the bottom. Amen. 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 I please, I did something wrong to you. You know the word she just moved me and we moved to that one again. Are you just celebrating Jesus like that? Have you noticed the first one I asked you, have you impregnated a woman? Amen. 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 Everybody stretch forth your hand. For good praise. You know, as a youngster, when you do certain mistakes, don't allow it to happen the second time. Don't allow it to happen the second time. That is why I keep telling you. If you see a woman that you love here within, within this woman you whether your parents are here or not, just let us know. That one is our job. To go and then make the necessary ground work. But provided that it is the will of God. Is somebody here? If it is not the will of God, even the wedding, I will not stand there. So that, they, that I was there when it was happening. If somebody here, yeah, I will get straight forward your hand towards me. Straight forward your hand towards me. We're going to ask for mercy. We join our hearts with you and ask for mercy. It's a mistake that he did. There is youthful loss that normally attack young men. Young women. But we pray that it will not happen again. We pray for the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Father, we pray for this, your son. Restore him, O Lord. Empower him, O Lord. Do something new in his life. Forgive him for that abortion. And open a new page. Lord, touch him to worship him in spirit and truth. In Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank Father, I pray for this daughter of Zion for a spiritual encounter. Thank you, Father. Perfect. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. From today, begin to be more attentive with your dreams. And in your dreams. Because when I was praying for you, I saw something like a beam of light, something like, you know, that lighthouse, you know, the way the beam of light comes from. I saw it. The Lord will visit you. The Lord will visit you. The Lord will visit you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Madam. How old is that baby? Can you come with that baby? No. Come, come, come. Oh, you may be seated, please. Feel free. Sorry. Sorry, sit down. How old is this baby? Ah, she's nine years old. She's nine years old. Oh, she's nine years old. So she likes eating. Why is she a puller? Is she? 
Hey Siri. Hey Siri, Linda. Hey. Let's do it. I cannot talk much. Which village you talk? Let's go by go. Ah. Oh, it, it, he, she is the one that comes from the village. <laughs> Amen. Amen. One day we had, it, I was on duties at the airport. And we had a, we had a case. They had deported a woman who was in Sweden for a very long time. And the woman had a baby just like this. So when they came, they explained everything to us. And I think the, 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 the escort, the escort that escorted them, wanted to um, go on the same flight. And they came and then gave us the, the, the visa card to process it, to make a ticket for him. I was there and somebody called me and said, they have a problem, the immigration. immigration. What's the problem? They said, this woman is a deportee, they deported her. She, she had not even washed her mouth. They just knocked on the door around 6.15 in the morning. You are under arrest. From the house to the airport. Then to the flight. Then they came. So I called my friend. I said, okay, what we can do? Uh, we tell them that the flight is full. But even with that, this man was not able to go on the next flight. That is not the problem. The baby too is a Swedish. It's a Swedish. He is not got a visa. He also deport the child. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They deported the mother. The mother came with the... The mother came with the baby. So I told my immigration friend. So I said, they bought the baby. It's not got this. I'm on this. It's not anything. I'm on that. They bought it. You will have a bit of money. Just came. Yeah. I pretended as if I don't know. Uh, they started sorting out here. You don't see the family. I said, please, uh, 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 turn, 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 uh, turn for one time. For the flight to take off. It's over there. So please, uh, can we just upload these people? That is the, the man, the escort. Upload them and whoever we uh, upload all of them and the bag and everything. Because we have to close the flight. Immediately we uploaded them. So go and sort out the problem with them. I, I give them the balance sheet. Captain, I said, I'm going to go. I'm going to close the door. That was hard. So now they cannot deport the child. They cannot take the child. Time. So that was how. The next available flight. They put both the mother and the child and also the escort. They took them back. Amen. I don't know what they are planning for you. I don't know what they are planning for you. But whatever they plan for you, whatever they are planning, it will not work. It will not work. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the reason why I called you, I saw this baby who's having problems with the issue of walking. Because I'm seeing weakness from the weak. Have you started sitting her down? She is able to sit down. And what next? Have she started trying to walk? Or to hold on to things? Wow. How about the walking? She has not yet started. I think there are nine months old baby that walk. Yes, sir. So she has not yet started. Okay, put her down. Let's look at something. And this is real. Wow. Uh-huh. 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 The problem is the way to her. The problem is the way. I see one of the, 
of, I wouldn't know whether to call it wisdom. But the, the boom that starts from here, coming off here, that's where I see the thing. That is the final thing. Just a little bit. And this one is not in the journal. The way you put uh, uh, this one is the, the ensemble. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for spiritual strength. I command every strange sickness and pain that normally attacks the bone. I command you to leave now. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. I think this is a very lucky baby. This is a very lucky baby. Because I see like white people, small stories, small stories. Like white people. Small stories. In Jesus' precious and mighty name. Amen. They don't like anybody to put their head. They don't like any joke business. Amen. God bless you. Somebody celebrate you. If you have a Bible, so I make her do your own. Genesis chapter 2. And if you tell Genesis, you can do your own. So I make her do your own. If it's your own Bible, you still can turn to Genesis chapter 2. If it's a Bible, you still can turn to Genesis chapter 2. If it's a Bible that you hire or you rent it or you lease. Well, Still turn to Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. Tonight I want to talk very shortly about spiritual disobedience. Spiritual disobedience. Spiritual disobedience. What? Bigger poverty. Bigger poverty. Spiritual disobedience, spiritual stubbornness. In Genesis chapter 2, because of the time, I'm just going to round up everything. In Genesis chapter 2, you see the fellowship, you see the communication, you see the law between God and man. Is somebody here? Yes, sir. When you get home, make it a point of duty or so an assignment. When you get home, so for the first time, at least take Genesis chapter 2. And just begin to read it. I believe the Lord is going to explain it to you. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. French, you can read it. In Spanish, you can read it. In whatever language, make sure that you read it. But the summary of Genesis chapter 2 is God was in perfect and complete fellowship with man. Especially that man called Adam. Which is the first man that he got created. And when I got to when I got somewhere along the line, Genesis chapter 2, then the Bible says, and God, after he has created everything, he formed man. He formed man. He formed man. Out of the dust of the earth. He formed man. Informed man. When I read that part, I told prophetess. What prophetess said, If that is the case, man's stubbornness, man's unfaithfulness, man's rudeness, man's attitude, man should not take it to God. Because God 
will begin to grow. He did not do it. The Bible says because he had not yet created man. But when he created man, then he sent rain. He sent water to irrigate the whole land. And the plant started growing. And he created the, east, uh, uh, the garden and uh, uh, Eden. Eden Garden, the Garden of Eden. In the eastern part of the garden. In the eastern part. In the eastern part. And the Bible says, and God trusted it into the hands of Adam. You see how much faith God had in man. You see how much God believed man. At that material point in time, Adam, Adam was the greatest of all. Because he was controlling the biggest zoo in the whole wide world. He was watching over the biggest and the most beautiful garden in the whole wide world. Everything God entrusted in because of how much he trusted. Are we together? Yes. Then in Genesis chapter 3. But in Genesis chapter 2. God gave Adam an instruction. As to what to do and what not to do. And one of the things. One of the instructions was that there is a particular tree in the Garden of Eden, which is called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And God specifically instructed and commanded Adam not to eat from that tree. Is somebody he made it very clear. Don't eat from that tree. Don't eat from that tree. My pastor friend told me that when God opened his mouth and told Adam, don't eat from that tree. Or else if you do, you will die. He said he when he read and got there. He knew, he knew that Adam must eat that tree. Why? Because God has spoken. He said, because whatever God says must only come to pass. That did you understand that? He said, from the very first time that God said, don't do this. He knew that for God to have said that, already he has seen Adam doing it. So that is why he's warning him. Is somebody here? Are we together? Adam. You have the liberty to do everything, anything. But there is something that you must not do. That is why I go. I am not bringing the tree of the knowledge of good and evil around you, very close to you. Look at where I am positioning it. Make sure you don't go there. Don't eat of it. Don't approach it. Don't even touch it. But my friend told me, when God said it, he knew that Adam would fail the test. Because God has spoken. Why? Because God has spoken. I don't know what have God spoken concerning your own life. I don't know what God said concerning your life. But because He is God, because He is God, whatever has come out of His mouth concerning you, whether during rainy season or dry season, in the morning or at night, whether you are inside the hole, you are inside the water, you are inside the moon, because it is God that said it, it will surely come to pass. Amen. 
Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. If God says you are going to get married yes, on the 26th of October, yes, 2019, yes, man or no man, dead or alive, yes, on the 26th of October, yes, 2019, yes, at 5 o'clock, that God said at 5 o'clock you are going to get married, yes, wherever you are, where God has said yes, that by 5 o'clock, on the 25th, you are going to be there and you get married that day. Wherever the man is going to come from, wherever the woman is going to come from, that you don't know. That is, that is his work. Leave that one to him. But on the 25th of October 2019, you will get married. Is somebody here? Am I talking to somebody? Do yes. you understand what I'm saying? Yes, if God says you have to travel, yes, whether you have passport or not, passport whether you have visa or not, visa whether you have money or not, travel, you will travel. Yes. travel. Yes. One of our uh, members came to me and she told me that she wants to travel. And I prayed with her. We were here in the service and I prophesied. I said, yes. I, 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 I see you traveling. And I saw you sitting on seat number. I said the seat number. And she went to Mali to apply for it. When she went, she was refused the visa. And she came back. <laughs> Prophet. Prophet. What is it? Prophet. What is it? They rejected me. They didn't give me the visa. I said, Auntie. Visa or visa? We are not the council. We are not the ambassador. But one thing I know. One thing I know. Before you die. That country. God said you go there. The, the counselor, his father does not own the country. The counselor, his mother does not own the country. Before you die, you will go there. I saw you seated inside an aircraft. I saw the seat number and I saw you sitting. When I look at the direction of the aircraft, the aircraft is going to this country and that country you must enter. came and I think traveled to Ghana. No, to them Ghana. Spent about three months there. I think she applied from Ghana also. Did oh, she come back? She what? came back or she applied from Ghana. She applied from Ghana. Then they sent her all the documents. She went to the same embassy. This time. Beyond. Looked at the passport. The whole passport. Looked at everything. All left. Visa inside the passport. As I'm talking right now, she still send money to the ministry. What am I saying? Whatever God has said, it will surely come to pass. Whatever God has said, it will surely come to pass. A man in the Bible. Oh, is Job. Job. He said, he have looked at things carefully. And this is his conclusion. That the plans of God, the plans of God, cannot be thwarted by man. I prophesy over your life. With my eyes open. I prophesy over your life. With my eyes open. In the name of Jesus. Everything that God has said concerning your life. Everything that God has said concerning your life. It will come to pass. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 He knows just how to orchestrate things to happen. We were at the airport, Banjo International Airport. And there was a porter there, one of the porters. 
que na quinta dele que é que te pagasse. The porters, that's that's the right description. The porters are those people that carry the the loads of the travelers or the passengers. And there is this story. That have been uh, uh, that was assigned to Gambia. And so she was responsible for receiving the, the, the inbound passengers, the those ones that are coming from Europe. And this lady saw this porter inside the airport and said, I like this man. Then friends began to tell her, this one you cannot like her, you cannot like him, this one you cannot like him. The man is a porter. What are you going to do with a porter? A white woman like you, all the gallant young men, even including the rest of you didn't see anybody. The ones wearing coat, the ones wearing suit, you didn't see anybody. Porter, ordinary porter. It's not possible. She also said it's possible. <laughs> because she doesn't want any man on the surface of this place. Besides the porter. <laughs> like play, play, play. They are going. They are coming. They are going. They are coming. They are going. They are coming. The season finished. And then they moved her to coffee. She said she's not going. Uh, what is it? Why are you going? The the fiancé. The fiancé. The The fiancé. The The fiancé. The we are recalling you back to Europe to Spain. If that is the case, we will dismiss you. Yes, I have already dismissed your work. Is somebody here? Yes. We were there at the same airport. Play, 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 play. The lady and the man, they got married. You see. We were there at the airport. Play, 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 play. play. They stood. We checked them inside the flight. And they traveled together. If I be a man of God, I prophesy over your life. If I be a prophet of God, Is somebody here? So when I looked at all these things, I said no. Uh, to stand in the presence of people, that will not be possible. When I stand in the presence of people, I forget everything that I wanted to say. Is somebody here? 
Now it's the opposite. So, some of the things is when I start. Then I remember. My God. My God. We use your mighty. My God. We use your mighty. My God. My God. We use you. And the Lord use you. Any spiritual stubbornness that has entered you from the pit of hell that does not want you to worship God that does not want you to praise God that does not want you to seek God that does not want you to relate with God that does not want you to work for God in the name that is above everything let our power catch fire let our spirit catch fire in the name of Jesus 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 in Jesus mighty name thank you Jesus thank you Jesus in the realms of the spirit I saw something like a black gate. But this one is more like this iron. Uh, it's not got the plate, it's got this iron, iron gate. And I saw the front part of the gate. It looks like something very sleepy. And I saw a man. I don't saw the hands of the man. With something like a pocket of sand. And they're pouring it at a sleepy place. And they're asking you to come. They're asking you to come. They're asking the person to come. And in the realms of the Spirit, asking the Holy Spirit, what is the meaning of that? He said, there is someone here in your family. It has been prescribed. And it has been conceived and confirmed that you will never worship God. But God says He's sending a help of destiny to come and separate you from the family so that you can worship Him in spirit and in truth. And you shall be the deliverer of that family, say the spirit of the living God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Then Genesis chapter 3 to close. Genesis chapter 3. There was a problem. A very disgraceful problem. A very sinful problem. Between God and man. The man that he has created. The same instruction that he gave Adam. In Genesis chapter 2. And he repeated it and emphasized on it. Adam. 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 Transgressed against God. Can you believe? That at first, God will come and sit down with Adam. Adam and they will be chatting. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. The Bible says, in the cool of the day, and God walked, and Adam. Adam heard the feet of God inside the garden. And because this time we have seen, he did not sit down for a conversation. He went and hid himself at the back of one of the trees. And the Bible says, God called out to Adam. 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 Today, where are you? Adam. Adam, where are you? Ananga. At first, when you hear my voice, you don't wait for me. When you hear my feet, so you don't God. even wait for me to come. Oh, you run. And you come and meet me. <laughs> and sit down with me. <laughs> and laugh with me. <laughs> and joke with me. <laughs> Today, where are you? Ananga. I'm asking you the same question. Today you are inside church. And you are hiding inside the choir. You are hiding inside the mysterious servants. You are hiding inside the eldership. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Why are you running away from God? Can I tell you something? Anytime you see, it's not the time. To run away from God. It's rather right the time to run back to God. That was the mistake that Adam did. Until when God located him. Adam. Adam. Why are you hiding? 
that God asked him a question. The very tree that I put in the middle of the garden, which I personally ask you never to eat from, have you eaten of that tree? You think God, God didn't see Adam? From where he was hiding? Somebody that the Bible says, in Genesis chapter 1, that there was no darkness. And God, as dark as the place was, he was hiding. You think if he was not seen, he could have been moving? Is somebody here? This is in darkness. This is broad daylight. Midnight, he said. And Adam said everything. That is God. Which is mine. God said what? You know, I am God. I cannot reverse my words. Whatever I say, whatever I say, whatever I say, even that one I do. I have already spoken. I have spoken. I cannot change it. There is just one thing I cannot do. As a God. I cannot change things that have gone out of my mouth. The other day, you told Abraham. Abraham. We were somewhere along the line. Abraham was like, you know, God, I'm blowing you. Abraham, I was 75 when you told me. 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 I was 75 when you I swear by my holy. I call. I swear by my holy. May you watch this from a cell line. That the blessing will take place. What I have said concerning your life. You may watch this from the beginning. If I would not do it, I brought two birds. Nyari picha. 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 And he split them into two. Abraham, if I do not bless you as I have spoken, let it be done unto me according to according according to how it has been done unto this man. He split the the bird into two. Abraham, he split the bird into two. The way this bird is divided, into two. If I do not fulfill the word I have told you, let, let me be divided. Let me cease to be God. What he said he will do, that is what he will do. Daddy. I am God. I am God. 
I cannot say one thing today. I say another thing today. What I say, I have to do it. How the would have loved to help you. I would have loved to rescue the situation. But the problem is, I have already spoken. I have already spoken. To go. Like to leave my presence. There's only one thing I cannot stand. And that is sin. I don't come anywhere around sin. I don't approach sin. Anything called filthiness. Spiritual sin. Physical sin. Sin of any sort. It does not approach me. I dwell in a degree of unapproachable light. That is why even the angels are standing before me. When you ask them, they will tell you. The reason why they have six wings. The two they used to cover their face. The other two they used to cover their legs. The other two is what they used to cover their body. Because of the degree of light that comes from you. Three. 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 Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Is this so sin? Jesus. Yes. Sir. When he was on the cross. When they heaved the whole thing so the whole wide world on him. They thought dimension of him. And Jesus knew. Yes. Sir. That the God dimension of him. They thought dimension of him. Jesus had to shout. My father, my father. My father, my father. Now that I am on the cross, why have thou forsaken me? No, I have not forsaken you. The thing is, they put the horse in. On the whole wide world on you. Here I see you with no touch. 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 Here I see you Am I talking to somebody? Yes. If there is anything that God hates with a passion, that is sin. No matter who you are, that would be your God on sin. Bakal causes God's face. That I give can a miyala. Mugiye na chiyo. Chiyo. There is nothing like little sin. Amu lumeli bakal bula asumaga. Bakal bu bakal. Sin is sin. Bakal bakal. Sin is sin. When I read uh, Genesis chapter 3, when I got to verse 24, I closed the Bible. I could not read any further. Because I read something that shocked me. When the Bible said, and God, God broke Adam, out of the garden, and then God excommunicated Adam out of the garden. Hey! 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 But God asked Adam to give names to all the animals. And Adam gave names to all the animals. He used to chat with the man. And Adam was kind of the all need to keep up from Adam. What happened? How did it happen? Why did you excommunicate him? Luther and Daha Adam. From the garden. Adam. Out. Get out. Go. I said go. And Adam was a bit reluctant. Adam was a bit reluctant. And God said. And tell him. 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 Tell Adam Gemma, leave the garden. Buy him for the. I told you, God. Adam, I don't just go. 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 Go.
There was one time he seen the and God said Moses what have you just done and he mentioned it and God said it's over I cannot take it I hate sin and that you know come up to the mountain and come and die that's it stop on this spiritual stop on this sit here I want to stand sit I want to sit sit I want to bend down bend down I want to bow bow I want to lie down inside church in the things of God inside the kingdom of God People are doing business in the name of God. Business. 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 With the name of God. The upstanding. The upstanding. I don't know what you have done against God. You know yourself. What you do in the morning, you know. What you do in the afternoon, you know. What you do at night, inside your head, what you do. Nobody stand up. Do not let me go.
Are you the one I'm talking to? Yes. I say you are the one that needs God. For you to think that you are irreplaceable in the kingdom of God or in the house of God. When God this own soul. He was with a teenager. That was only 17 years. Hey! Replaced him. Perfect replacement. He, he, he said, David is better than Saul. Mugen. David, Mugen Saul. 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 Mugen Hey, this God. Hey, this God. Brother, fear God. Sister, fear God. Fear God. Fear God. Uncle, fear God. Auntie, fear God. This God. Fear him. Fear God. The man that is able. To replace the whole sitting king, okay. with the teenager, 17 years old. The other day he was speaking. He said, "Don't be afraid. The one that can kill you, bodily. Don't be afraid. Not the one that can kill your body. And also preside where your soul should be. Don't be afraid. 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 Don't that is the highest one to do. <laughs> you do you to the 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 and like, hey, what is this kind of noise? Why are you sure? Is it not just a human? Is this or not a carpenter? Want to hear something? Jesus told them. Jesus told them. These people that are shouting. Why? 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 I am a human being. I am God personified. When we say the Son of God, so you say don't be yalla. The Son of God that our brothers and sisters have so much misconception of. When the Bible says Son of God, God, they are not saying the Son that God gives birth to. They are not saying the Son that God gives birth to. They are not saying the Son that God gives birth to. They are not saying the Son that God gives birth to. They are not saying the Son that God gives birth to. They are not saying the Son that God gives birth to. They are not saying the Son that God gives birth to. They are not saying the Son that God gives birth to. They are not saying the Son that God gives birth to. Don't be a little bit. 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 Don't be a if only you confess your sin and call upon the name of the Most High God, there shall be help for you. There shall be salvation for you. If you will decree and declare that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the Son of the Living God and that He died on the cross of Calvary, every sin of every nature of any nature that you have committed, God is able to forgive you. Past and gone are the days of ignorance. For the most part against you. But the days of knowledge that shall be counted against you. Talk to him. Ask him for mercy. Whatever you did that you don't know. Ask for mercy. 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 Ask for mercy.
We are just but humans. We are just but humans. I need red line. We are just humans. I need red line. We are just but humans. No, I need red line. We are just but humans. I need red line. Lord have mercy on us. Or forgive us. But we are sorry. The things that we did intentionally, and the ones that we did accidentally, Lord, we ask for mercy. Holy Spirit, have mercy. Jesus, have mercy. Jesus, have mercy. The abortions, the stealing, the lying, the gossips, the betrayals. The Lord have mercy. Holy Spirit have mercy. It's only Christ. Christ the stage that you are put into. The situation and the condition that you find yourself. It is only Christ and Christ alone. Christ and Christ alone. Christ minus, minus nothing else. And Christ plus nothing else. Christ. 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 And Christ alone. Christ. Christ. Christ alone. Christ alone. Christ alone. Christ alone. Christ alone. Christ alone. Human efforts cannot yield anything. They therefore not help us. Holy Spirit, help us. Help us. Guide us. 
Strengthen us. Liberate us. Empower us. Rule in us. Teach us. Jangan. Comfort us. Stating. Console us. Stating. Direct us. One new. Jesus. Yes. You are able. Mungam. Breathe again. Be particular. In the life of your children. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And then take it to your lower reach at Jana. And close your eyes. You take to your boat. Close your eyes. And then take to your boat. It's a very special moment. And you want to go on so long. The Bible says. Can you hear the phone name? The book of Romans chapter 10. Chitiri and Roman. Fuki elisabi. Thou shalt confess with thy mouth. So why are you saying it? The Lord Jesus. And to borrow me yes. In thy heart. The is the and whole. God had raised him from the dead. The of the kitchen, the the thou shalt be saved. Are you are going to call on his holy name. They are going to call on his holy name. You want to miss heaven. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. We believe in your son Jesus Christ. God God Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That he came to earth. And 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 he came to earth. Lord, 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 The word of God is power. <coughs> the word of God heals. <coughs> the word of God saves. As you have given your life. To Jesus Christ. Tonight you are going to receive the word of God. There is nothing that God cannot do for you. If you are sick in any part of your body. You can just put your hand there. Take your hand there. You know what brought you here. I'm the ruler of the Indy. Ask God like to locate you for more time at this hour. She wants to be there. Talk to God. You will have Yalam. Talk to God. Then you will have Yalam. Talk to God. Then you will have Yalam. He heals. He delivers. He delivers. And he saves. He saves. He's a holy God. He and he wants you to be holy. God doesn't want you to sin. So come out of that darkness. And be obedient to God. And he will give you the strength to do what God has for you. He's our maker. He's our creator. Then he touched that area. Then that... Konya, what will I Address tonight. For how many days will I give you? Why? He's a merciful father. Yalla, but I'm here Monday. Just touch the area. Lala, please. Then he touched the area. 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 Know that what you are doing is not right with God. So you to you to to put your hand on your head. Take a of and pray with you. Pray with you. Pray with you. Pray In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as we have come to you, as we have come to you tonight, we have come to you tonight. 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 We have come to you t
For you to save them, Lord. Accept them in the name of Jesus. Touch them, Lord. Let the dew of heaven fall on them. In the name of Jesus. Let the dew and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let it fall. And heal every sickness. Every disease. Every infirmity. In your life. In the name of Jesus. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. In the name of Jesus. Be delivered. Be delivered, be delivered, be healed from that sickness, be healed from that disease, be healed from that oppression, be healed, be healed, be saved from that oppression. Let that headache go, let that stomach ache go, let that diabetes go, let it go, let it go. Let it go. Demonic. That demon that is tormenting your life. Let it go now. Let it go. 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 That is tormenting the lives of these children. Come out! Go! Go! Come out! Come out! Go! 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 In the name of Jesus! In the name of Jesus! Lose the children of God! Lose them! Lose them! Lose them! Lose them! In the name of Jesus! Let that headache go! Let that headache go! Let that headache go! Let that headache go! Thank you, Lord. Give it to you, Lord. 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 Thank you,